we had a nice day. Finally got some sun and uh, guys are excited. You know, we had two really spirited practices on Tuesday and Wednesday and today we were able to clean up some things. Uh, you know, a big thing for us is just staying focused on what we need to do and obviously playing a great team um, that's on a mission and so are we. And so it's a chance for us to take another step, play a great football team that's ranked at home for a special weekend with it being homecoming and obviously the opportunity to have the network uh, have uh, national television. So it's what you sign up for as a coach and a player. It's really exciting to have the, the opportunity. Now it's go do something with it. So excited to have that. How important is it to get off to a quick start, strong start? Well, they're outscoring their opponents, you know, 80 something to 13, I think. And, and we're outscoring ours 80 something to 21. So first quarters for both teams have been big. You know, obviously we want to start fast. That's been important. Um, more importantly is we want to play a full quarter game. I think the start, you know, helps you get going, but we can't let anything that happens early dictate what happens late. You know, we got to keep playing. On Monday, you still have some players who remember the 2011 game against them and the, some of the wins over Florida State. Have you talked about some of those big wins with them for the team no, this week? No, I mean, I wasn't here for them. Um, you know, I've just talked about the opportunity and, and how you have a chance to embrace it and, uh, you know, what happens when you embrace something like that for your football program. And last week they took a step of doing something that hadn't been done in a while, and, and this week's another opportunity to do the same thing. And that's all it is. It's an opportunity. And like I told them, it doesn't matter that we're playing Clemson. I mean, what matters is we don't beat ourselves, so we have a chance to beat Clemson. And that's where our focus is. Is there any similarities from when Florida State came into town last year? I don't know. I mean, it's, there is because Florida State was unbeaten and, and that kind of deal, and, and Clemson's the same way. For us, we're a different team. You know, it's different players, and the guys that played in that game will, will definitely be able to use their experiences in that game. You know, I just hope we've learned our lesson on, on looking at the scoreboard and feeling comfortable. Or, you know, we had a chance in that game to keep the pressure on an opponent and didn't, and I hope we've learned from that. Teams like Louisville and, and Notre Dame that have slowed them down a little bit offensively, what were they able to do? Look, uh, I don't know Notre Dame's defense inside and out, but I do know they have a great D-line. Louisville has a great D-line. So if you beat your opponent up front, you have a chance to pressure the quarterback, you have a chance to stop the run, and those are pretty good formulas for winning. So if we can you know, do what those guys did in, in the trenches, we'll have a chance. We have to stop the run. I mean, Clemson is a really good running football team. They've always had down the field threats, and they've always had athletes that can take a little quick screen and make you look bad. So open field tackling is always a part of playing Clemson. But this year, the tailback run game is different. I mean, that guy's really, really good. To your game last year. No, I didn't. And obviously now you know exactly what he can do with his wheels, how hard is stopping him as part of that run game. Anytime you're playing a, a quarterback run team, there's an added blocker. and so. You know, we've seen a lot of those this year. Uh, we have to, first of all, leverage him and keep him from being able to get outside of our pursuit. So turning him back, we got to change the math on blocks. So guys that are spilling it or guys that are leveraging a, a, a kickout block, they have to get off of that block and add themselves to the play. And then we need to hit them. If they're going to run them, we need to hit them. I mean, we need to make them not want to run them because of how we hit them. So, that's always a key. I mean, if you're going to run your quarterback, you're going to risk your quarterback, you know, and we do the same thing. So I understand what it's like. But that's a key part of their offense, and we have to be physical in the game. You guys were understandably juiced for the Clemson game here in 13 and the Far State game here last year. Are those weeks where you, you, know, you don't have to say as much, or is it's kind of obvious that in the ranking and the, and the prestige of those programs that you yeah, I think those are starters. Yeah, I think those are weeks where if you're talking about effort, then you're really in trouble. <laughs> uh, we haven't had to do that this week, so it's like I said, it's it's really about execution against a team like this because you just don't have a lot of margin for error. They've got really good players. They're playing with confidence, and uh, their quarterbacks are very efficient. You know, I just feel like if we can get off to. What we've done early in games and we'll continue it for four quarters, and, and the whole focus is doing my job and winning my battle. I know they were losses, but just what do you remember about those games? They have to feel like that's why you did it. I know it's a loss, but I know if it's a crowd like that, if it's a moment like that, if it's a ranking like that, that has to be the reason that you got into all of this, right? Well, I got into coaching because I like helping kids. I mean, I was coaching high school football. You know, I didn't get into it to be in that game. 
Shiny Mission Northwest, Shiny Mission East game was a big game for me. You know what I mean? Now that I'm at this level, absolutely. I mean, it's the biggest game you can play in until we have our rivalry game. So I um, love being in a competitive environment that's worth a lot and where everything's invested. And that's what coaches love to do, you know, and, and I know that's what players love to do. You mentioned closing the gap before the Louisville game. Obviously, there's a gap with the Clemson game. How much do you look at last year's game, or do you just kind of burn it and move on? Well, no, we look at it just because you want to see how they attacked us and uh, the kind of things we weren't able to do that we thought. And obviously, when we went into the game, we thought we were going to be able to do certain things, and we were wrong. And uh, So why did that happen? Is it the play? Is it the personnel? Is it just the mentality? Uh, or did they just make some really good plays? You look at all of them. Uh, we went back to the year before that's game, too. And we want to see it. They're all the same guys. Even though the coordinators now they're running the same offense, you know, team coordinators the same guy, head coach, special teams coordinator. So we look at every piece of film we can get our hands on, and try to do everything you can to make sure you're giving our kids the best chance, and then they got to execute.